Welcome to MPS Monitor, the best cloud solution for remote printer monitoring and print fleet management. This tutorial is going to help you in the easy process of creating a cluster of connectors. The creation of a cluster increases the reliability of the data collection process and allows better management of the fleet, thanks to connector redundancy. To reach this goal, you will need to install two or more connectors into the customer's network. After you have installed the first connector on a customer, you need to install the second one on a different customer's PC or server that has access to the same networks of the first one. To do this, you can start the download of the second connector by clicking on the orange button Download Connector, or click on the download link on the installation invitation email. You can repeat this operation several times on many PCs or servers in the same customer, as long as they all have access to the network where the printers are connected. The installation process is the same as the first connector. For more details, you can check the tutorial called First Login and First Customer Creation. Once you complete the second installation, you can see the new connector on the second PC, highlighted in yellow. To create the cluster, click on the button Create a New Cluster on the right top of the page. Now select the connectors that you wish to set as secondary connector. The secondary connectors are installations that start working only when the primary connector stops working because of PC shutdown or software deinstallation. Insert a name for the cluster you just created and click on Save. Going back into the connector page, you can now see the cluster configuration with primary and secondary connectors. Here we see only one secondary, but remember that they can be more than one if you perform several connector installations into the customer network. When the primary connector will stop working, one of the secondary ones will become primary and will take care of the scanning process. The failover process is fully automatic. Thank you for watching this MPS Monitor tutorial.